Hey guys, and welcome back to Easter at Fountain. And today we've got our second development snapshot. And today, in our second development snapshot, we're gonna take a look on this little program that I wrote, uh, which is called Rishoni, which is prime in Hebrew. So, um, this program calculates prime numbers. So, if you live in the USA, you're gonna say it's gonna work till billion but for sure I'm just gonna say to be sure I'm just gonna say it's gonna work till um two and nine zeros so let me let me just move this program to a separate folder because it is generating some files and I don't want my my um hard drive to be spammed so I'm gonna run this as you can see what happens is hold on Okay, so this is the prime number calculator. Please enter the start number, so it creates files every one um, one million, one and six zeros. It's gonna create a file with numbers. Let's start with one. We're gonna start with. As you can see, it generated a text file here. Because of the web matrix install, is put this icon, but normally it will put the the notepad icon. And let me just enter the number one to start from. As you can see, the program is now running. And if I'll refresh this folder, you can't see it. But this this file is being written to, and now it's it started with the second file. As you can see here. So this program runs like crazy. I've got the same program running on the computer next to me on my on the old laptop, but it's um a bit slow because this computer is 10 years old so as you can see it actually makes a list of the prime numbers and i tested i had some tests to see and let's just take a look on we can't see the status bar so we can solve this and then see this is seven seventy seventy eight thousand four hundred and ninety nine numbers till um here see all of these are prime numbers if I'm gonna look for two at the end why is my num look off as you can see you cannot find any twos at the end of the number which means that it is not a prime number on also nor fives and um the sevens and threes and ones so let us take a look on the code so it is where's the code this the header and this is the project oh this is the c okay open that with notepad so you can see so we're using um, three libraries: the stdo and the stldlib, and the s and the string. Sorry, uh, library. This is the code. Just um, sixty-two lines with just spaces to make this more organized. So how is this working? We're creating um, a or setting the title of the program, prime number calculator, and we're creating a new file. And we're doing some variables. And now this is the auto numbering. As you can see, we're setting up the auto numbering uh, variables here. And we're connecting the file name, which is a prime list, with the auto numbering. And we're using some string cuts and sprintf and string copy to duplicate and um, change the string as we want. Then there's the printf, which says please enter the start. N th please enter the number to start from, and it scans the number from the user th to a decimal uh, variable. And the this end sign here marks the um, area in memory which the file is in. And 
we've got this if thing here which tests for the um for the, the 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 number to be smaller than 2 and if it is smaller than 2 it's going to write to the file 1 and 2 because this program will not count 1 and 2 because these are special numbers these are private cases and the program will not recognize this and this loop th here just mark it all this thing will run this number of times that's a lot and the program is still running it's the third or fourth day it's running non-stop just running 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 we add one to the number and if the if if the square root of the number plus one is um smaller or equal to the number itself I think yes so the number is prime as you can see here we're setting the value of his prime to one here I if the modulo is zero the prime is zero is prime zero so it's not prime and if it is prime print to the screen and print to the file write to the file and if not just do nothing uh, we can put here like a special character or something like this put character and here we can put the oh god and here we can put the um the ASCII code of the number this will be smiley and think and three will be heart um <coughs> and here every one million one in six zeros we're gonna close the file Add one to the auto numbering. Um, do the connect these uh, texts and strings as you can see. Prime lists um, dot text, and open the file again. And then we're waiting to get this uh, message finished with here. This this uh, decimal will be um, this when we finish this number here, which is the value, the maximum value of the variable long which the whole system is based on and maybe when we get a stronger computer, stronger laptop we can run this program on we might use double and double is one with 23 zeros in it so that's about that uh, you guys will see you later guys now I was trying to find some here see you later guys